Hey guys, welcome to this another video. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is so, paano nga ba mag-apply ng NBI clearance online? Um, so all you need to do, visit clearance.nbi.gov.ph. So yung instruction, meron naman tayo dito English, meron din for Tagalog. So just click on OK. And then advisory in Notice, okay, so is hereby given to all NBI clearance applicants who are first-time applicants, renewal of NBI clearance, it's also possible. Renewal, but previous NBI clearance has corrections or errors. You can also definitely apply online. Ano ba yung kailangan mong i-present? Two valid government-issued IDs. What are these IDs such as UMIT passport, driver's license, birth certificate authenticated by PSA, etc. Basta all valid IDs except company IDs and barangay clearance. Now, for first-timers or first-time job seekers, po pwede kayo mag-present ng barangay certificate. So, just click on OK. Now, punta lang tayo dito sa... Sa table na to, dun sa left side ng screen niyo. do you have an NBI clearance? So, let's say no. And then, fill up on lang yung mga information na to. First, gender female, kunwari, um, status single, and then your birthday. Just select options here. There you go. Make sure guys na correct tong mga information na ay naentoy natin dito. Kasi ito yung mga data na magre-reflect sa NBI clearance natin. So, there you go. Then, yung first name, gumamit lang tayo ng any information for now. Um, Alicia, kunwari. Now, ito lang yung junior. If in the event na meron kayong extension name, just like, for example, junior, the third, make sure na reflected din siya dito sa applic pag fill out ng form. So, let's just say Alex Jr., And then, make sure to enter your middle name, your last name, or your surname. And then, yung phone number, make sure na yung phone number natin is active. Walang nilagay ko dito sa unang application, it's not actually active. But make sure na active yung number, same with the email address. And then, yeah, you just click on, I'm not robot. Welcome to the NBI Clearance Online Payment System. In the interest of providing you better service, we are glad to announce the availability of online payment system. So, yung instruction or the... Well, yung privacy, yung details about this application, nandito naman siya, guys. So, make sure, um, yeah, the reason why we are actually doing this online application para hindi mo na kailangan pumila. Pagpunta mo doon sa, sa office ng, um, ng NBI branch, kung saan ka man pupunta or kung saan man malapit sa place ninyo, hindi mo na kailangan pumila para mag-fill out ng information and stuff like that. So, after kasi nito, ang gagawin mo is magbabayad ka and then pagpunta mo din sa NBI office, ipipresent mo lang yung uh, may reference number, makikita na nila doon and then make sure na paid na yon before ka pumunta dun sa, sa office nila. So, later on, I will show you as well. So, I'm just showing you this, guys. Just an FYI, availability of service. Okay. Well, NBI, 7 days, 24 hours a day. So, it's actually something that is available like 24 hours. Registration obligations in consideration of your use of this service. You agree to provide the complete information, correct information. Um, just like what I said earlier. Printing, downloading, duplicating, or copying and using any personally identifiable information about other users. Impersonate. So, these are the things na make sure na hindi nyo gagawin. Now, a service charge of 25 pesos will be added from the original fee upon using the NBI online payment and it is non-refundable. Not bad, diba? 25 pesos lang. Um in place dun sa hassle and then dun sa time and effort na pagpila mo. So, why not use yung, yung online application instead, right? And then, of course, the password usage. Make sure that, um, you know, you take the notes, the password that you're going to use. Kasi later on or in the future, um, napaka-importante nito kasi you will just access your account online and then you can just, you know, apply for renewal from there. So, gagawa ko na another video for NBI clearance, um, pag-renew ng NBI clearance. So, there, I'm actually just presenting a disclaimer of, you know, warranties and then, 
NBI does not warrant that this site will operate error free or that a server is free of computer viruses. So all you need to do really is to acknowledge or to agree. Okay, um, this is just really more of an FYI for you. And then I hereby agree to be governed by the terms and conditions. Just go ahead and click agree. All right. And then after that, I'm not a robot. And then you just go ahead and click on sign up. So ang gagawin ko ngayon dito, will enter yung mga, um, yung totoong information ko. Kasi, yeah, what we are going to do, it's actually an actual account, an active account. So, lalagay ko lang yung ibang mga information. I'll just correct some information here. So, there. Kasi magsa-sign up tayo. And then, the password. Make sure not to forget the password. Then, click sign up. Now, from here, meron isa-send na one-time password sa phone number ninyo. Ito yung dahilan kung bakit sinasabi ko kanina, make sure na tama yung phone number. Kasi, yeah, just like this example, your one-time password is, so there. You will get the text message from NBI. There you go. You just have to reset one-time password if in case hindi mo siya... Um, hindi mo siya na-receive. So, just go ahead and sign in. Dito kasi automatic nag-populate na yung username and password eh. Once you sign in, ito kasi picture lang to, um, it will ask you to enter yung mga information just like your, yung first name mo tsaka last name mo kanina, kinapture na niya kung anong sined mo. So, yung ibang mga information na kailangan just like your, for example, your uh, phone number, your um, information of your father, your mother, and dito rin siya. So, pag tinig yung ibang tabs, yeah, it will show you some other information. For this one, applicant information, ito na yung summary. Just to make sure na tama yung information na nilagay ninyo, it will give you the summary. And then after this, you just go ahead and click on submit. Yan. Make sure, guys, um, i-check niyo yung mga yan, ha. Then, after that, apply for clearance na. From your online account, click on apply for, for clearance. And then, you just have to select kung ano yung ID na meron. Kaya ito yung mga list of valid IDs. So, let's just say, yeah, select ko yung UMID. That's SSS and GSIS. And then, yung ID number. Yung ID number na to, it's just an example. And then, submit. Ito yung mga important reminder in English and Tagalog. Your registration code or reference number will be provided after you select your payment option. Oh, ito yung reference number na sinasabi ko kanina. You need to present that reference number pagpunta nyo ng NBI. But before that, make sure na bayaran nyo muna yung fees before kayo pumunta sa office. So it will give you also the date. First, you need to select the branch. Depende kung saan kayo malap. So ito yung mga listahan ng mga branches ng NBI. So, select natin. Pwede nyo namang i-type actually yung, yung name ng place. So, let's just say Manila. Yeah, let's select the first option. So, ito yung mga available date and time actually. Number of, you know, slots available that can be catered by the office. Say, for example, Friday, that's September yeah, the details, it's on your screen, left side of your screen, September 17, AM slots, one more than 1,000. Then you just have to select kung saan nyo babayaran yung payment. Alright, so this one, let's assume na yung pipili nating option is, let's see, 7-Eleven, GCash. Let's click on GCash. As a reminder, once you click proceed to payment, here are the next steps. A reference number will be generated. Use your GCash app. Be using your reference number or scan QR code. And then from there, just click on proceed. So ito yung total amount na kailangan yung isettle. Alright, so make sure additional fee of 25 pesos to use this e-payment service. Please pay within the day or before. Before nung scheduled um day mo nang pagpunta mismo sa NBI. So, if, if you notice kanina na merong additional 25 pesos. So, there. Um, pagpunta mo dun sa uh, account mo online, it will also give you under transaction. Ito yung reference number. Ito yung details ng application mo. 
Now, this a phone. It's actually the same process. Just click on agree. So, earlier, um, we just entered yung mga information natin. So, it's actually the same thing. But let's just say, ano ka, first-time job seekers. Let's select first-time job seekers. Again, guys, what we are using right now, it's using your cell phone. It's the same process. So here, take note of the following notification. So again, um, you need to present a duly issued barangay certificate or clearance um, that you are resident for at least six months. Just go ahead and click on OK. And then, same thing that we did earlier, Kailangan mo lang i-enter yung mga information, which is like gender, civil status, your birth information, your first name, middle name, last name, and so on and so forth. It's the same thing, okay? Ang difference lang is that you're doing the same process using your cell phone. Um, so, yon hindi ko na siya masyadong patatagalin. Well, I will not fill out lahat ng mga information dito kasi it's just the same. Yon. Um, again, just make sure na complete yung mga information in tama. And then from here, you just go ahead and click on read and exact. I'm not a robot. And then sign up. It's the same process. Now, let me just show you this. Ganito yung process noon. You can also see this dun sa website ni NBI. So, step one, fill up the form. You just have to line up, data check. And then, step number three, you will make the payment. Step number four, that's when, you know, um, the staff will be encoding the information and then photo and fingerprint scanning. And then, number six, clearance printing. This time, somewhat ginawang online ngayon ni NBI. So, instead na you, lining up mismo doon sa branch or office, you just have to do an online registration. So, yung number one na is the photo and fingerprint scanning. Step number two, clearance printing. So, kita yung difference, guys. Ang laki ng difference. Ang laki din na naitulong pag nag-online or nag-register ka na online. So, there you go. Um, that's basically a short, um, like a tutorial on how to apply for your NBI clearance using these e-services or online verification. I hope that you learned something again in this video and I will be uploading another video. This is about a renewal of NBI clearance. I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.